Hi, there is an interesting video. Levitation powers from high voltage. World first from Plasma Channel. Let's take a look. Mm. Hey, I'm Jay and this is Plasma Channel. What you're about to see is entirely real. I'll be the judge of that. I learned about this process several years back, which is when I first this shot a video on the top. fascinating. Is it real? So it seems he's putting very high voltage between two plates, and with that, it can levitate some pieces of aluminum foil. Tossing the foil into place, you can see it takes a second. Then he applies the same high voltage to his own body, and he can lift the aluminum foil with his hand. Look at that. <laughs> Is this real though? I mean, if you charge your body, shouldn't the aluminum foil just go up and stick to your hand? Why is it stopping at a certain distance from his hand? Is he using one of those invisible strings? Hmm, you know what it's time for? They're rectified now. Well, there's not much to rectify here. This is my friend Jay from Plasma Channel we are talking about. He doesn't fake stuff, unless... He wants to lure me into a shocking situation. But I thought it looked like a very interesting experiment for me to do. So let's do it. Well, this should be quite simple for me to do since I have my super high voltage DC generator I made in my previous videos. It makes everything so nice and tidy though. I think I'll just use some aluminum foil for my bottom plate. Should be good enough. He shows I should cut a piece of aluminum foil like this. Hold it at the center a little bit so it can stand. Then he says positive connects to the bottom plate. And for the negative, I can just hold the end of the wire in my hand. And I just bring my hand close to the foil and it should fly. This looks like a very dangerous situation though. So I must make sure I'm not touching anything else. Okay, I think I'm in good shape now. Let's do this. Oh wait, why am I doing this? I'm holding the wire in this hand. If I get shocked by the other hand, it will go straight through my chest. Here's what I'll do. I'll just wrap this wire around my arm. And this way, if I get shocked, it'll just shock this part of my arm, not the entire body. Okay, let's try it again. No oh, wait, why am I exposing myself to the full power of this thing? I'm putting three large one mega ohm resistors in series and will put it in series with the high voltage to the bottom plate. This way if I get shocked and if the output of my circuit is 60 kilovolts, then the resistors will limit the current to around 20 milliamps, which is still a lot, but should be much less lethal. I'm using these resistors to make my giant Marx generator. <laughs> If you want to see that video, make sure to subscribe to get the notification. This can be very dangerously painful. So don't try this at home. Okay, ready? <laughs> it scared the sh out of me. Well, you failed. Ow! Always turn off your high voltage power supply before manipulating anything. Let me just put my leg up here. Okay, let's see if we can make it levitate at all. There we go. Oh, 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 what is bouncing up and down? Try again. Oh, works better backwards. <laughs> Maybe I should just use a bigger one. Here we are. It gets attracted to the rest of my arm. Maybe I should just stand. Okay. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Still bounces back and down. Back and down? Cut a bunch of teeth at the bottom of it so the charges run away faster. Maybe it works better. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It still bounces. Oh, it's upside. Oh, look at that. It's levitating. Not much. Cut a taller one. Maybe it needs to be taller. Mm -hmm. Come on, levitate. It still keeps bouncing. I need to focus my powers. <sighs> Maybe it needs teeth at the bottom. Okay, more teeth at the bottom. 
charges running away may help still pound oh look at that look at that i got it i got it <laughs> i got it let's try again fail this time come on come on do it again do it again ah there you are there you are oh it's levitating hmm. i think my voltage might not be as high as jay's I think he beat me again in voltage level. Seems this thing performs better with pointier stuff. Just don't shock me, just fail. I hate it when it falls. Don't shock me, okay? Why is it falling? Okay, just hand. Uh, uh, uh. I get it. I understand how it works now. See, when my hand slopes like this, it goes this way because it's closer to the charges. If I go like that, it'll go this way. So I can control its position. In general, it's attracted to the lowest point. So if I have a bump at the bottom, I can attract it there. Maybe I should just do it like this. If I'm too far up, it just bounces up and down. But when I'm close enough, the charges flow continuously and it levitates. And that's the dangerous area because any closer and it will shock the sh out of me. In any case, let's try it like this with a bump at the bottom and see if it levitates. Here we go. Well, it seems like when I bring a pointy thing close to it, it just falls. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Close enough. There we go. There we go. Ow, it shocked me. What if I use the smaller one now? There you go. Stop jumping, you moron. Come on, stop. Uh, ow! I got too close. Let's try again. There we go. See, it's levitating. Ah! Ah! I need a sh ow! I think the taller one performs a bit better. There you go, see? Just don't shock you. Ow! Ow! I think me doing it flat handedly works better. Here we go. There you go. See? Ah, it works so nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at this. It floats so well now. Oh, I knew Jay wouldn't betray me. <laughs> hmm. All of a sudden, things work much better now. What's going on? <laughs> Now, one thing Jay mentioned that I'm not sure why, he said you have to connect your body to negative and the plate to positive. I don't know if it's because it's safer to connect to negative ground or it won't work. In any case, I'm gonna connect myself to positive again, but through the resistor so that it's safer. Okay, let's do it. Seems it wants to work. Damn, how do I turn off the power now? Anything I touch will shock me. <laughs> Somebody help me! Oh, I know. Trying again. There you go. I can feel the wind. Does it really matter if it is positive? <laughs> Ow! Seems if we flip the polarity, it won't rise as much. Yeah, it just stands up and floats close to the surface. Yeah, it stays close to the surface. <laughs> Forgot to disconnect myself before turning off the power supply. And here's the smallest one. <laughs> well, what can I say? Jay was right. Do you hear the ions blowing? <laughs> Balancing these properly is a tough task though. There you go. <laughs> Great. Now, why does this happen? Well, go subscribe to and watch Jay's video. He explains it there very well. And thanks for watching.